Hey guys, what's up? This is Mab Gaming for the win, and welcome back. Today's Friday, I'm not too sure when this is going to be uploaded. Hopefully, in the next two days, Saturday or Sunday. But yeah, let's get right into it. Um, of course, I'm uploading this weekly, and as you can tell by my microphone, it has had a huge um, improvement compared to the last video. In this video, I'm going to be covering a couple of things. Um, as you can see, I'm talking a bit slower as well. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the sky, uh, lights, and yeah, uh, the light model and stuff. Anyway, let's get started. As you can see here, um, there's a light model, and how I do that is I just spawn in like a random, random model. What I set to it, um, I set a component to it, use fake lighting, and this is where I can implement a light into the game and just render it in that part. This is actually rendered in the blue light, but it's quite low down. I need to fix that. If I do it a bit higher up, it will give me the blue colour in the lamp. Uh, if you head over here, we can see a yellow lamp that actually stands out quite nicely. As you can see the floor as well, it's actually yellowish around, but a better example of this would be the red lamp over here. Uh, the floor is not a huge, if I just make it to night quickly, it does look a bit better, but the lighting does not change as much. I might increase the value over time, but we've got to see for now. Anyway, as you can see, the red light on the thing on the bottom and on the lamp anyway guys we're going to be next there are the only three lights that actually spawn in the world so far but i'm going to make it so i unrender them so whenever i look away like here they would like to render and the ones in front will render and i don't want them always running because it could cause lag a lot and i want this to be a game that a lot of people can run uh, you'll need at least opengl 3.2 to run it uh, but you might not, I can release two versions of it because the way I've coded it, um, it works without it as well. As you can see the model is still messed up, but yeah, let's get right into the sky. I'm going to actually head off the world this way. Um, yep, nice and slowly, you know. But yeah, as you can see by here, um, you can actually turn and look at the sky. With the sky, what I actually do, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six images, I think. Uh, one for the top, one for the bottom, and four for the sides. And the old, yeah, six, um, six images, one for the top, one for the bottom. Because it's literally a cube, and it's just going around. It just looks like it's a circle because of the camera and stuff. And it looks really nice. And I've set it where I press the letter F, it actually speeds up the day. So I'm going to keep tapping it as you can hear that. And your stylist start to see the day um, actually sped up. Uh, sped up um, all the way into night. I'm actually going to make the days a lot longer. But as you can see, the night sky looks quite nice. Um, you can actually see the moon. Uh, moon. Moon. Uh, not even moon. The moon peeping out of uh, that area there to give light on the. Sorry about that. Light on the world. And that makes it look very nice. Um, also, because of how uh, the light, uh, the sky works and stuff, the terrain actually does look a lot brighter because. The sky changes uh, colour dramatically, as you can see. It's not actually changing colour of the earth, but when it's darker, because the earth is lighter, it stands out a lot more, but when it's brighter, um, it does not stand out as much because of how the game works. Well, not really, it's because of how our eyes work and stuff. But yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. I haven't got much to cover. This has only been a short video so far, but in this video, I just covered the uh, three lamps. As you know here, next time I'll fix that light up of course. I know I keep saying that but I never get around to it, I probably will forget. But I'll fix it right after this devlog. Actually I'll just show you how I can fix it right now without freaking um, you know, even exiting the game. So what I do is I have a folder called main game and something called run game and game loop. Run game just um, um, alters a sequence where it runs a verification thing. Because I'm going to add accounts to this so... Not any random user can just use it. Anyway, so in the code, I might put an image up on the screen, but if I don't, have a look at the earth, you know, take that into account. Okay, but I'll, I'll just quickly explain it to you. In the, in the source code, I've got something called lamp. I've got light dot add new light, and each color is set. Um, let me just find out where that lamp is. So to do that, I just go up to the lamp with the problem that one's green green is a problem this one's a problem i press um what was it again r or when i press r it will tell me exactly what lamp it is um so it's a second lamp and 
we need to make the light a bit higher.